first, what, what are we talking about? Uh, and what are we not talking about? In my experience, there are very different notions that are understood as double degrees. And you have two very separate cases. First, all that has to deal with degree validation, degree accreditation. The terminology can change depending on the language, and translation doesn't help. Uh, some call it validation, accreditation, something different anyway. What is common is that in this part, the student at some point got a degree in one country. And this piece of paper needs to be validated by some institution in some other country. Maybe there is some official organ, a council, which decides how to validate things. Maybe it's a university. Uh, but anyway, you have one foreign degree which needs to be revalidated in one new country. Okay, so this is revalidation. It's only one degree, it's not two di different degrees. Uh, I won't discuss much about this here because it's really not the topic uh, of, of, of this talk. There's only one degree that is revalidated. On the other hand, you have what has to do with uh, matters today, double degrees. And it starts with credit mobility and on the other end of the spectrum, joint degrees. So credit mobility is that what everybody is doing. Uh, students do go abroad, they study something, when they come back they need to revalidate the credits. There are a lot of difficulties involved in this, it's a very important subject, but it's not the topic of today, neither. On the other hand, you have joint degrees. Uh, at least two different institutions agree that they will give one unique degree in the end, combining different uh, formations. There is, of course, student mobility involved because students will do part of the studies in another institution, but it's one unique degree in the end which is awarded. So it's not double degree because it's also one degree. In many ways, joint degrees are much more complicated than double degrees, right? But it's something different. Uh, for these joint degrees, you need to have some accreditation mechanism because, of course, each degree the degrees in which country are revalidated in a different way, so if you join those degrees, you need to validate the joint degree in the end. Now, if you restrict yourself to double degrees, you still have some other confusions, uh, which is the level of the degree we're talking about. It can be at undergraduate level, it can be at master level, it can be at PhD level. You have to be very clear on this with your colleagues. If you are discussing about double degrees, the first thing you should discuss with your partner is what is the level of the studies you are considering. It's, it's a very natural source of confusion. Many people in Europe, for instance, only think about double degree at master or PhD level. Computer is double degree at PhD level. It's very standard for Europeans. And if you're interested in this, perfect. But if you want to set up double degree at undergraduate level, you have to make it very clear to the partner because it's another topic. So today, we'll focus on double degrees and double degrees at undergraduate level. I won't talk much about even co-tutor.